blessings and honor to my fellow friends and brothers across the globe. Once again, your servant in the kingdom of God. I'm a love slave and a friend, a love slave of the Lord Jesus Christ and a friend of the Father. I'm here to bring you once again the message of our Lord Jesus Christ. So as we've been studying, we've been talking about strongholds. May the Holy Spirit enlighten your mind even as we continue on this series. So now we're, we've been talking about destroying the strongholds of the enemy. Destroying the strongholds of the enemy. This is the third series. So in this series we'll continue again destroying the strongholds of the enemy. So we saw from the story uh, of, of the, the, the uh, Luke recorded in Luke chapter 11 verses verses 14 downwards when Jesus was casting out devils and uh, some accused him some accused him that he is casting out devils by the, the by Beelzebub another demon another prince of demons and the Lord Jesus Christ told him when I cast out devils by the finger of God definitely you know the kingdom of God has come upon you definitely you know that the kingdom of God has come upon you so and then the Lord Jesus Christ said something very very interesting very very interesting in the same Luke chapter 19 verses verses 21 so it says when a strong man when a strong man armed keeps his palace his goods are in peace when a stronger than he shall come upon him and overcome him he taketh from him all his armor wherewith wherein he trusted and divided his poles and divides his poles divides his poles and the version the version of Matthew Matthew 12 28 it says but if I drive out demons by the Spirit of God then the kingdom of God has come upon you so now we can conclude that when he said when I drive out uh, demons by the finger of God, the, the, the kingdom of God has come upon you. It's talking about the Spirit of God. So the Spirit of God is a finger of God. Because Matthew 12, 28 says, If I drive out demons by the Spirit of God, the king, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. The same Jesus said, that The Lord has anointed me. The Spirit of God is upon me because God has anointed me to preach the good news, to set the captives free. To set the captives free. So now, Jesus made us understand that they are strongholds the enemy builds palaces or builds strongholds or refuge uh, in, in people's lives in people's lives where in the enemy hides behind these strongholds behind the system of thoughts wrong thoughts wrong belief systems and then controls people's lives from there he tells them what to do where to go he tells them what time to sleep he tells them what to do so besides those who don't know Christ now we're talking about Christians Christians that are held captive by the devil Christians that are held captive by the devil because of wrong beliefs wrong beliefs because of false teachings because of false doctrines because of lies they believed in, because of lies they have believed in, because of some wrong things they watch on TV, because of wrong things they watch on TV, because of wrong songs they listen to, because of wrong songs they listen to, because of the kind of books they've been reading, the kind of books they've been reading, books that 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 is really uh, focused on, on, on new age, new age witchcraft books, but disguised as, 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 as books of light. So because of these 
defense, the enemy has been able to build strongholds, strongholds in the hearts and in the minds of many, in the hearts and the minds of many. So how the stronghold starts, starts as the devil places, build strongholds in our lives through our thoughts, through our thoughts, because the Bible says, be transformed by the renewing of your mind, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And as Paul made us see in 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 1 to 5, it has to do mainly with casting out, ca pulling down or destroying, destroying strongholds and destroying imaginations and thoughts and, and purposes of the devil, of the world in the minds, in the minds and emotions of Christians and bringing every thought to the obedience of Christ, every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ, to the obedience of Christ. So it is God's desire for every Christian to be freed from any thoughts that are not of God, for all Christians to be freed from a um, system of thoughts that are of the devil or from the devil, from the devil, because many times though we might be in the presence of God, but still there will be things in our minds and emotions that might oppose God. Some people have many problems against speaking in tongues. Some have problems against the healing, healing the sick. Some have problems against being rich or having money from God. Some have problems against uh, the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Some have problems against giving offerings. Some have problems against pastors or apostles or prophets or pe preach, uh, evangelists or teachers. Some have problems against specific denominations. Some have problems against different uh, racial uh, races or different skin color. Uh, uh, have problems against uh, colored skin colored people or maybe white colored people or different na nations, nationalities. And cultures, cultures. I mean, I'm talking about having problem against things that you should not have problems against. Whenever you hear of that thing, something rises up in you. Something rises up in you, and you have arguments to defend yourself against that thing. And we're talking about something in your life that is not ordained of God. Something in your life that the Lord did not give to you. Something in your life. That you don't have scriptural background or scriptural uh, scriptural approach a uh, scriptural evidence but because you had a, a bad experience in your past because something bad had happened was uh, certain things you have the enemy has built some system of thoughts in your mind system of thoughts in your mind and, and he's created emotions in you from which he controls you from outside. So the enemy can control you either from outside, he stands from outside, and he controls you, your emotions from outside, or controls you from inside, inside. So these are the strongholds, Paul said, they must be pulled down, be pulled down, be pulled down, so that your, your entire mind will be surrendered to Christ, will be surrendered to Christ, all the evil, the bad movies you've been watching, the movies that are not after Christ, the songs you've been listening to that are of the world, that have built strongholds in you, those strongholds in you that is repelling the things of God, repelling the things of God against, exalt yourself against the things of God. Whenever you hear something without you going through scriptures, without you having an open mind to learn, to see what is in scriptures, you rise up, something rises up in you, and you don't want to hear anything, you don't want to listen to it and say what you have to say or hear the scriptures. The problem, I'm not talking about people who give you counsel based on their own interests. I'm not talking to you about people who give you counsel that is not from the word of God. But people that are giving you counsel from scriptures that are sent of God. Instead of you sitting and hearing these scriptures so that you will ponder over these scriptures. The enemy provokes your emotions and your thoughts. Then you rise up. Say no. 
So now you have taken refuge in that palace. You have taken refuge in in, 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 in that defensive arguments that is against God. That is against God and Paul said the weapons of our warfare, the instruments of our warfare is to destroy these, these ungodly strongholds in the lives of people. These ungodly strongholds in the lives of people and destroying reasonings, reasonings. And of uh, chapter 5, 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 5, destroying reasonings and destroying every hyphen that exalts itself against, we're talking about against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought or perception or purpose to the obedience of Christ. So Paul was not talking about going to a place, a physical place where it is built, where evil people are dwelling for us to destroy, take down the struggles, those places, that, that physical palace, that's not what he is talking about. Uh, because we don't war according to, to the flesh, we, it's not physical things we're talking about. But we're talking about destroying struggles in the minds and emotions of people. So uh, the, the, the only way the enemy is able to set up his, his, his rulership in the house of someone, because sometimes you can enter into a house and you send this evil evil spirits, evil presence in that place, full of evil. Why? Because the enemy has set up his throne in that house, and after setting up his throne in that house, he, he was only able to set up his throne in that house because he first set up his throne in the mind and emotions of the person. So the, 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 the evil uh, presence in the house of the, pres uh, the person you sense is more or less a manifestation of the presence of the enemy in the emotions and mind of the person. Emotions and mind of the person. So when these strongholds are built in the person, these become thrones, thrones, the dominions of the devil in the hearts of the person. The thrones of the devil in the minds and emotions of the person. How does he set up his throne? By the wrong thoughts. By, by allowing you to see the wrong things. Listening to the wrong things. Wrong news. False doctrines. So it could be a stronghold of lies. Strongholds of fornication. Strongholds of adultery, strongholds of of idolatry, strongholds of stealing, uh, strongholds of theft. There could be strongholds of of uncleanness, strongholds of homosexuality, strongholds of hatred of bitterness. Strongholds of heresies in your mind and your emotions. So if that could be his throne he has set up in the emotions and minds of many. That a devil manipulates and controls them, decides for them, plans for them, leads them to wherever he wants to lead them to, when he wants to lead them, lead them. However, he wants their lives to be. People go to church whenever they feel like. People pray when they feel like. When they don't feel like praying, they don't pray. When they don't feel like meditating the word of God, they do not meditate. And they don't feel like doing anything, they will not do it for God because of the strongholds. It's too much for them to bear it. And the enemy is controlling them from that place. Why? Because a throne has been erected, a palace has been built for him. And he's secured in that place. The Lord Jesus said, A stronger man can come and destroy that palace, take over the enemy, overpower that person, and then take all of his goods, divide his poles. Divide his poles. So you are blessed. We'll stop here and we'll continue. We'll continue in the next series. How about 
about the strongest strongholds of the enemy. God loves you and continually meditate the word of God and stay in fellowship with the Lord. Stay in fellowship with God. Jesus loves you and I love you too. Goodbye. Talking about strongholds, may the Holy Spirit enlighten your mind even as we continue on this series. So now we're we've been talking about destroying the strongholds of the enemy. Destroying the strongholds of the enemy. This is the third series. So in this series we'll continue again. Destroying the strongholds of the enemy. So we saw from the story uh, of, of the other one. So it says when a strong man, when a strong man armed keeps his palace, his goods are in peace. But when a stronger than he shall come upon him and overcome him, he taketh from him all his armor wherewith wherein he trusted and divided his poles. And divides his poles, divides his poles. And the version, the version of Matthew, Matthew 12, 28. It says, but uh, Luke recorded in Luke chapter 11, verses, verses 14 downwards. When Jesus was casting out devils, and uh, some accused him, some accused him that he is casting out devils by the, the by Beelzebub, another demon, another prince of demons. And the Lord Jesus Christ told him, when I cast out devils. Blessings and honor to my fellow friends and brothers across the globe. Once again, your servant in the kingdom of God. I'm a love slave and a friend, a love slave of the Lord Jesus Christ and a friend of the Father. I'm here to bring you once again the message of our Lord Jesus Christ. So as we've been studying, we've been by the finger of God, definitely you know the kingdom of God has come upon you. Definitely you know that the kingdom of God has come upon you. So, and then the Lord Jesus Christ said something very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. In the same Luke chapter 19, Verses, verses 